is Denise Thompson. I'm the Vice President of Human Capital Management at Intact. I don't think you can ever completely remove unconscious bias from the recruitment process. You can only work towards doing your best and being aware. So the first thing we did was we educated people that they could possibly have some implicit or unconscious bias and then help them to understand how they could overcome that. We wanted people to be aware that um, this wasn't a fault, something to be ashamed of, but it was very natural uh, for us all to have uh, some unconscious bias. That being said, it's not a great thing if you're looking to uh, ensure that you have the best people from the broadest talent pool. The second thing we did is we, we made recommendations to our management and our recruiters around uh, what they could do in the actual process of recruiting and meeting with people. So there's five things uh, that we suggested. Uh, the first one is to really understand upfront what's required for the role. If you know what's required for the role, then you're always looking back to that as your criteria. The second thing I would say is having a structured interview. So have identified in advance of meeting with the person and people that you're going to be interviewing, what are the questions that you want to ask them? So that you provide a fair opportunity for each person to uh, respond to what's most important for the job. The third thing I would say is have multiple raters. Just don't focus on your own assessment of that individual, but have someone else meet with the person and ask similar questions of each person so that you can come back together and assess your findings. The next uh, element I would say is having a rating scale so that you can really determine whether um, that person has met the criteria for the job or exceeded the criteria of the job, for example. Finally, I would say a simulation. So if you can see that person's work, that's a very objective way of uh, assessing whether the person can do the job. And then last, but not least, uh, you can also use an assessment tool that provides uh, another unbiased uh, assessment of the individual based on skills or attributes of that person. I would really recommend that, first of all, you educate yourselves. There's lots of material out there about unconscious bias, and it's interesting reads. I can give an example, Iris Bonet's book, uh, What Works, LeanIn.org and uh, Catalyst.org are great um, centers of expertise that give you a lot of information that you can read about unconscious bias and become more aware as an individual about fairness in, uh, in selecting talent.